In this screencast, we are going to discuss atelectasis, which can also be thought of as collapse of the alveoli. At the end of this screencast, you should be able to describe three common types of atelectasis and recognize the radiographic features of atelectasis. Atelectasis is essentially collapse of the alveoli, and there can be multiple causes of collapse. One of the more common causes that we see is just poor inspiration. So whether the patient is debilitated, they're lying supine in bed, they've had a rib fracture, they're having some reason where they're not inspiring sufficiently, so some of the alveoli are collapsed, typically in the dependent portions of the lungs. Another common form of atelectasis is where something is compressing on the lung and that is taking up space within the hemithorax and therefore the alveoli collapse due to mass effect or compression. Another common type of atelectasis is where there is a central obstruction. The central obstruction, whether it's a mass or a mucus plug or a misplaced endotracheal tube, is not permitting air exchange with part or all of the lung or lobe of the lung, and that is causing the alveoli to collapse. Here I've given you a graphical representation of the secondary pulmonary lobules in a segment of lung. When you think about atelectasis and its appearance on a chest CT or on an x-ray, think about it as collapse of the alveoli resulting in an increased density in that region due to a lack of gas. There also will overall be volume loss in the hemithorax. Here we have a CT with a linear density up against the diaphragm in this person's lung base that was atelectasis. Poor inspiration is a common reason for having atelectasis. Sometimes poor inspiration can be due to debilitation, recent surgery, or recent anesthesia, or altered consciousness. When we have poor inspiration, we will commonly see atelectasis forming at the lung bases. In this patient, we have a large area of left retrocardiac atelectasis. You can even see a little bronchi being highlighted there. And this is the CT from the same patient at the same time. And we can see that they have near complete collapse of their left lower lobe. Seeing it both in a retrocardiac space and in the right lung base are very common. You can also notice that in this person, their overall lung volume is low. So they don't have as many rib spaces apparent in the chest radiograph as you would see in a normal person who's fully inspired. Pleural effusion is a very common reason to have atelectasis, and I would almost argue that there's always atelectasis in the setting of a pleural effusion, unless you've removed some of the lung. The pleural effusion occupies space within the hemithorax, which is relatively fixed, and that's going to compress the adjacent lung. And so when you have a pleural effusion, there's almost always underlying atelectasis. In this case, we see this meniscal sign with the space along the pleura thickened by the fluid. And we can see that on this side. And then underlying those effusions are very dense opacities that are really a combination of the effusion and the atelectasis. Here's the chest CT in the same patient. You can see these large pleural effusions here. Okay, and then the completely collapsed lower lobes almost floating out in the effusions. And you can imagine why the combination of both the fluid and the collapsed lung without the gas in the lung causes very dense opacification of the lung bases. 
central obstruction can also cause you to have atelectasis. That central obstruction can be due to a number of causes. We certainly see it when there is a mass in one of the bronchi or the airway or even a classic squamous cell carcinoma that's invaded the bronchi. But we can also see it with just mucus plugging related to intubation or increased secretions. So this is an intubated patient who, over the course of one hour, develops this opacity here. Now, how do we know that this is atelectasis? Well, we can see that there's elevation of the right hemidiaphragm. Overall, the lung volume in this hemithorax is greatly decreased compared to the volume in the left hemithorax. Also, this nice smooth demarcated line represents the major fissure that has been elevated due to right upper lobe collapse. In summary, atelectasis is a collapse of the alveoli or asini. It comes from a number of different causes and it can have a lot of different appearances based on whether it's subsegmental and when it's subsegmental, it often looks linear or discoid. If it involves an entire segment, there may be greater density and a more wedge-shaped appearance. Or if it's low bar, you may see substantial decreased volumes in those hemithorax, a well-defined and upward or downward shifted pleural line, and very dense opacity. Remember these three common causes of atelectasis and think about them conceptually why each one of them might result in collapse of your air spaces.